Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Abdullah Uduro with learn, not even the letters anymore, learning the chapters. We're learning the reading of the Arabic. 20 days ago, 25 days ago, roughly, you were probably signing up for this course or deciding well, whether if I want to take it or not, is it worth my time? How is it teaching? Am I really going to be able to read Arabic? But now that you're at this level now, you're reading the Arabic language if you put in the work and you have implemented the, the forms of advice that I've given you. Because this is not the first time that I've done it. Uh, I've done it with myself and then also with other converts that have come into the deen, come into the religion. They've learned and they're reading the Quran fluently, mashallah. So congratulations, firstly. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for allowing you and giving you the strength to proceed on to uh, be able to read his beautiful book. The last lesson. So the last lesson we're going to take is the chapter of Al-Kawthar. And this is the chapter of Al-Kawthar. As you see at the bottom, um, you see this chapter of Al-Kawthar in this calligraphy, beautiful calligraphy, mashallah. Uh, again, just making sure that to keep your eyes on the prize and, and having a goal uh, that you will be able to read this, inshallah ta'ala. I mean, even if we look from the far left, just a small example, you see the first thing is an alif, and right next to it is a noon with this with the shadda on it, okay? So that's inna, and we're going to learn it's inna al plaina kalad kalfa. We may come back to it if I remember, inshallah, to kind of go over it briefly. Okay, lastly, let's not do the letters. I think you already have the letters, mashallah, let's skip that. Okay, so the first portion of the chapter is Inna a'tayna kal kalthar. So after A'udhu Billahi min ash-shaytani ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna a'tayna kal kalthar. So we have Hamza Kasra Noon shadda in Na fata Alif sukun Na Inna That means verily we. Okay. Uh, next is Hamza fata Ain Ain sukun A'u okay and the kaf fata lam sukun kal kal kaf fata waw sukun kaw a'tayna kal kaw tha fata tha ra fata ra Al Kawthar Inna Aatayna Kal Kawthar. Okay, that's the first verse. Second verse is Fa. Okay, we see here Fa Fata Fa Sad Fata Lam Sukun Sad Fata Lam Shad Sal Lam Kasrali Fa Salli Lam Kasrali Ra Fata Ra Ra Fata Ba Shad. Rub, so it'd be li rub ba kasra bi li rub bi kaf fatha ka li rub bi ka. After that is wow fatha noon sukun one. Okay, ha fatha ra sukun har one har. The whole verse fa salli li rub bi ka one har. All together. In Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In Aatayna Kal Kawthar. Fasalili Rabbika one har. Last verse. Inna shani akahu al abtar. Okay. Hamza kasra noon shad the in. Na fatha noon fatha na inna. Sheen fatha alif sukun sha noon kasra ni. Sha ni. Hamza fatha a. Sha ni a. Kaf fatha ka. Sha ni a ka. Ha bama hu wow fatawa huwa wow fatalam sukun wal huwal Hamza fata a huwal a ba hamza fata ba sukun abel huwal 
الأب نو تا فتحة تا هو الأب تا را ضم رو هو الأب تا رو so all together إن شي إن شانئك هو الأب تا رو if we stop it will be أب تا رو so the surah all together بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر So that's the whole chapter, Surah Al-Kawthar. So what we've taken, Alhamdulillah, we've taken, let's look at the, 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 the manuscript, which you most likely see. Just take a look at it. There's nothing here uh, fairly different. I mean, the only thing maybe fairly different is in the third verse, which I didn't mention to y'all, actually, is the Hamza. So what we see in the third verse, in the at there, is a Hamza, and it's sitting on that little crown because of the Kasra before it. Okay? Because of the Kasra before it, it has the Ya-like skeletal structure. Okay? Um, and that's something we may learn later, inshallah. But just seeing the Hamza, Sitting by itself in the middle of a word, just look for the tashkil that is on top of it. Whatever haraka is associated with it, just pronounce it. So that would be a if it was kasha to be e if it was dhamma be u. Okay, so that's the most important thing here. Okay, so it's in shani akahu al abtar. And that's it. Alhamdulillah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you all. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you those that when they hear the Quran, an tajila qulubukum, that your hearts will tremble upon hearing the Quran because you know that it is, it is a qawlan taqila, that it is, as in the chapter of the, oh, the covered one, the muzammin, that it is a heavy statement. It is heavy on the scales. That when Allah speaks, it's something that one should be pay close attention to. That when you recite this Quran, it is something that is very blessed because you're reciting the word of God. You're reciting the Risala, the message that he came to give to you, and you memorized it, and you've taken it upon yourself to understand it and to act on it. And that is why the Quran was revealed. That's why it was sent, not to memorize it, but it was sent for you to act upon the Quran. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Kitabun Anzanahi, the book that we have sent down, a blessed book with its signs for you to ponder over it and for the ones with intellect to remind and remember. So after you have preponderance, you remember. And only the ones that are ulul al-bab, the ones that have the intellect and think and go beyond the surface, those are the ones that will benefit. So we ask Allah, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an authentic hadith, he said, Allahumma inni abduk ibn abduk ibn amatik nasiyyati bi yadik maldun fiya hukmat adun fiya qadauk. He goes in a du'a and he mentions, he says, Oh Allah, I'm your slave, the son of your slave. Uh, that your 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 ruling has, has been decreed upon me and that what you have predestined is just, I ask every name that you have given, every name that you have put in the book of in, in your Quran or any name that is with the knowledge of with, with you or what you have taught any individual to make the Quran a spring of my heart and a light of my chest. And it means of relinquishing any sadness and of alleviating and taking away any uh, any uh, distress. So we ask this, we ask Allah that he makes this, you learning this Quran, the beginning, the beginning of education, of Quranic education and of life education to make you a person that is educated about what Allah wants from you to where you live your life in a fashion that is befitting for you in this life to make it everlasting bliss in the next. May Allah bless you all and continue to follow in on our other sessions. This is only the beginning when it comes to Quranic education. Don't forget to tune into www.kn as a Nathan E W U letter U, not Y O U, letter U dot org. So that's www.knewu.org. We have other seminars. Uh, we're having one coming up on the Sira on the life of the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him. We have 10 hadith that every new Muslim should know. 10 verses in the Quran that every new Muslim should know. That can be the first step for you to get educated on the Quran. What are the primary verses that if you memorize them, it can take you through your life. Not saying it's sufficient, but it's good for your um, 
for your stage in development, inshallah ta'ala, and we'll take you to the next stage of learning this knowledge of Islam to be eventually a scholar of Islam. We should never limit ourselves. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah bless you all. Waja'alakum min ahl al-Quran alladhina ya'manuna bi muqtala ayatihi. And make you from the people of the Quran, the one, the ones that act upon the implications of the verses that Allah has sent to us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah bless you all. Thank you.